just that we've started already. And the name, the name changes as well. Um, KJ will try it and see, but even if we do here, it will still mm -hmm. be at the backlog. So you need to speak to the SMs about okay. it. So guys, be mindful of this board. Um, you don't want because if you, yeah, and, if you mess it up, it can be very challenging. Rita, I think she doesn't have the access to delete something, so it's just uh, levels. You don't have the access to delete something. So Nathan, you're... don't 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 do that. Nathan, don't worry. So go the... back to unassigned. Yeah. Um. Let let we we'll, with um with their own um. What is it called? With their own um email, you can't delay, right, Rexford? Yeah, I think it's just because they don't have the access to, they don't have that access, mm. that type of mm. access. It's, it's um, limited. Mm. Yes, so she can delete it. Mm. Okay, so and speak they... to your SMs. Oh, thank you. Mm. Click on that, please, Nathan. The honor sign. Honor sign. Honor sign. But KG was able to put her name, so... Yeah, what? I have to open it. They resign my name, I believe. No, no, not there. Um, okay, you, you yeah, open it yeah. up. Okay, yes, okay, yes, because it's not coming the, up. Yeah, click on the open. Underneath. Or you can do it on the three ellipses that you just opened, that you just clicked. Yeah. And then as, uh, under the... The title, I just clicked on assign. On mm -hmm. assign. Yeah. You can either use that, or I think Mr. DJ also showed you guys another method that they do not. Okay. Okay. Just save it and close it. We we're just doing that for her. Uh, and then just move it to in progress. So we'll go back to the board and see if. Mm -hmm. The second board. board. Yeah, excuse me, Rita. Sorry, can I interrupt? It's, so as you can see, it says one over two. So that's just it. So once, sorry, hold on. So once you finish, you just move it to the done and then it will, you get the tick. It will then be two over two because you, you are yet to complete it. That's why it's one over two. So, and then can you move it to NQA, please? Um, from, it's supposed to move because, okay, no, it's in progress. Yeah, move it, move it. Okay. Yeah, who was uh, who was that? Yeah, it's me, Davis. Um, I I tried to do uh one of the test cases, and then I've tightened everything. I've done everything I I feel uh I should do, and then it's not allowing me to save, even to save and close. It just yeah. uh, stayed there. The save and close option is not coming up for me to uh, pick. Okay, maybe you've done it in another place. You didn't put it, maybe you did it on the discussion. That's the only thing I can assume. We'll look at it. Let's finish with Nathan. All okay? right, yeah. Okay, Nathan, can I see your test case, please? So that's that about creating a task. So everyone, please create a task. If you if you, if you, you have been assigned to any of these um, PBIs on, that is on the dev done colon, um, please, in the if you are on this call, if you are listening to me, please go ahead. I expect everyone to be on their laptops. Um, please go ahead now and um, create a task and put your name on it and move it to NQA, please. Let's do that, please. Everyone that this this PBI belong to, please. Okay, I'll open it, please. The one you create, no, this is the user story, right? So the test case you created, yes.
Okay, what happened? Given I log in as a binary team member, what's your expected results, Nathan? Did you forget to fill it up or what happened? Or you didn't save it? Is Nathan, can Nathan speak? Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Sorry. Yeah. I, I didn't save it. Sorry. Okay. That, yes. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. Always save. So you say user is logged in. Well done. Mm -hmm. Home page is loaded. When I navigate to the SharePoint homepage, home page is loaded. Mm -mm. What do you mean by loaded? Can you elaborate on that? So this is for a user that is not technical. So what do you expect? How do you expect the user to know what loaded is? What kind of, what's loaded? Okay. And I navigate to several other pages within the SharePoint site. So what will be your expected result? And you are telling me but is that your expected result? Did you try it? Is that what you got? Because expected result is, I've done it and this is what I got. You are not telling me that is what will happen. I thought that expected result is different from the actual result. Yeah, so what is the difference, KG? I'm assuming that's KG, right? Simone. Oh, Simone, sorry. What he expects right. to happen. So he hasn't he hasn't executed it yet. But this is what he expects to see. <clears throat> so what's the difference between what so what is actual? Once he's executed it, once he's done the actual test, he'll be able to say, This is what I saw. Simone. Yes. What's the difference between actual and expected? I don't know how to explain it without using the No, you the must. Same word. <laughs> <laughs> you must. You must explain it today. Actual is what? I don't know. No, come on. Actual is what actual is what has been you... seen, right? Mm -hmm. Or what is identified mm -hmm. after execution. Mm -mm. Am I getting it wrong? Can somebody else take that? Can I go for it? Who who is speaking, please? Davis. Yes. Yeah. Davis actual... is on fire today. No, I'm not. <laughs> Before you fire me more. <laughs> so actual is the exact result result you got when you perform the action or operation then expected is uh uh should i say what is contained in the uh um user story expected is what the product owner wants to see actual is what you got when you perform the action yeah but that's what i said that wasn't clear if that's what you said. So actually is what you are saying. Yeah. What, Why expected what, results is what you are expecting. So when you said. look no, it wasn't clear if that's okay. what you said. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. fine. Yeah, yeah. As long as you understand it, that's fine. You already yeah. said you don't know how to explain it, so that's fine. But that you didn't come across as like that, but that's fine. So actually is what you are seeing right now say for instance you you order big mac and you are getting that's what you are seeing but what you wanted is big mac so that's your expected results so you are coming yeah. with expectation you going into that site you are coming to get 
it's also so thin. So you getting something is that's actual. Yeah. Okay. So on that line three, is it correct, everyone? I mean, is is that what we want to? Is that what we should see? I can access another page. No. I should access another page or redirect it to another page. You said what? You we are able to navigate to other pages. More, more, more. We are yet to get there. So when you say, oh, Rashford, can you take this one minute, please? I need to. Yep. Other pages within the SharePoint sites were assessed. Why are we? I'm sorry. Is it? And I navigate to several other pages within the share. Yeah. So um, even this place, there is there is a question here. So you yes, ask that, and I navigate to several other pages within the SharePoint site. Which pages are you referring to here? You understand because um sometimes you have to be um test steps is just to specify the specific thing you are doing it's a user journey you understand so let's say you present this to a user and you are saying to the user you navigate to several other pages within the share point side you have which pages you understand so you can just you can just specify it in your test case in your test case or your expected results that um in your expected results that the logo should be visible on on the page you are and like it must be static and it must be visible at all pages you know something like that because here the test step you saying and I navigate to several other pages which other pages are we talking about here. You understand so let's say where you have this one you can delete that one and then update to several other pages you can delete it and you can just use the first two and then navigate to the share for page point okay share whole page is displayed then the logo okay you even have it on your on your how do you call yeah. it on, yeah you have it on your dead then I'll yeah observe. because yeah i put it as the last one because then i observe so what i'm saying is there's several other pages I'm talking. So, say for example, if it's the home page and uh, maybe a Teams page, I can see the same logo, as in the, the logo is consistent. Like is it's this, not different. Is, is this coming from your additional information? Do you have yes. any additional information? Uh, yeah, I mean, the logo it should obviously be visible on all pages. But what I'm saying is that you can specify that in your expected results, in your accession. You understand? You don't necessarily have to, because let's say if you are to automate this, how how are you going to automate this step? You understand mm. what I'm saying? You can, Several other pages. Yes, you, you can automate it. So your your step your test steps has to be very explanatory. That is why I'm saying that you can you can specify it in your expected results and say that. So um the logo should be um static or it should it should be static and it should be visible on all pages. You understand? You can have that in your in your assertion, in your expected results. If if you want to specify the other pages um in the SharePoint or whatever, then you have to specify the pages. And I navigate to home page and I navigate to login page and I navigate to this and I navigate to that. You should specify okay. One at one, as in each one, I should specify if, which ones. If if you want to go to that extra amount, that's exactly fine. You can do that, but if no, you... he would definitely do that when executing, isn't it? Yes. yes. So that's what I'm saying. If he wants to do that, that's fine. But if he wants to just have that in his accession, that okay, then I observe. Even then, I observe the logo on the page is not very um. You should just have it like then you go and change to the color blue when hovering over the link. Who's who's are you? 
is that for this um someone is talking okay please so. for the sake of the recording please okay so uh sorry about that guys it was just an emergency call I had to take um yeah rest for the number three have you treated that one yeah for it, me personally it's 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 just not really a solid so, uh, test yes test. that's what i want to say this number three this is what you people should have because this is why I told you guys, the BAs will just write these things anyhow. So sometimes you guys need to take a step back, look at it properly. Because for me, and I navigate to several other pages within the SharePoint. I don't I don't understand that bit. So no, 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 you're not meant to do that. Don't take it off, Nathan. Put it back, please. If the if any corrections, if there, there needs to be any modification, that will be done by the BA on that action part. The only thing you need to work up work on as a QA is the expected result. So like as I said, um I have access to another page on the SharePoint site. Um there and I have access to the I mean we okay with the expected results on that line, it can be like and I navigate to other mm -hmm. and I navigate to several other oh, or several other pages were accessible. You know, or I navigate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you use navigate there. So, did you get that, Nathan? We've given yeah. you two different uh, expected results there. You didn't take any for number three. So, Resford said, um, well, anyway, what's that? Well, you can say other pages accessed or something. Yes. But... Remove the eye. Mm -hmm. So just say um other other pages were several other pages. Honestly, anyway, yeah, it's not um yeah, it's the same thing. Um, several yeah. other pages. Were accessible, yeah. Other pages were accessible yeah. on the SharePoint site and just read it like that. The page and just leave it like that. Yeah, it's fine. Other pages were accessible on the SharePoint site. Is that okay, Rexford? Yeah. Yeah, you can keep it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the the guys, uh, did you guys hear Rexford using one particular word? What was that? If you guys were listening when he was talking to Nathan about the number four, line four. Twenty one people on the call, or let me say nineteen people on the call. So Rexford kept using one particular word. Did you guys notice that? Specify. Sorry? Was it specify? I need to specific, be specific. No. Okay. Uh, Rexford, is the number four done? Did you hold on it and don't save yet? Yeah, is one. the number four? Uh, because I think I, I met you talking about it. What were you telling him to? Oh, yeah. Where he has the, then I observe the logo on each page. You can just write that, then logo is visible on each page. Yeah. The, your expected result. Your ex no, 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 no. Nathan, I just said to you, you don't make any correction on the action part, please. Yeah. So it's only on the expected result that we are working on. So it says, um, then I observe the logo on each page. So Rex for just gave you. Yeah, I mean, with with even with with his expected results, is fine because it's pretty much okay. Something. But it's just the the action that he's got, and then I observe the logo on each page. He can change it and be like, then logo is visible on each page. You understand? For the expected result. 
for the action. Oh, you, oh, yeah. you want him to change the action? Yeah. He can't change the action now. Is it not the BA that did that? One? It needs to be updated on the user story if he now changes it here. Because if you can do it, but then you need to update the BA to do it on the on the acceptance criteria as well. But did they necessarily have to? I mean, with the test cases, did they necessarily have to follow what the BA? Well, if... Most, I I thought that basically with this Gekin, we since we're the ones testing it. It doesn't have to be. All you have to do is make sure you the acceptance criteria is is there, um. But you can put your steps there yourself. I think the acceptance criteria is to help you create your expected result. Yeah. No. What Resford is saying is um because I'm insisting that he does he doesn't he he shouldn't change it. So Resford is saying um if it doesn't matter. But I think it does because if you do any changes now, you need to let them make the changes on the acceptance criteria as well. Oh, okay. Then then he can he can just keep it. It's it's okay then. It looks yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm That's saying. Okay. If okay. if you make any changes here, then he needs to update the BA. So okay, so the logo is consistent. The this the expected result I was really talking on. So if it's fine, because I heard you talking about the assertion and all that. That was why I was asking if um so Resford kept using the word assertion. So you guys do a research on what assertion is, and then we'll talk about it. So it's mainly to do with your automation. Um just do a research on it to help you guys moving forward. That's why I said always take notes. I will come and ask you people next week now. So the word is assertion. Yeah? Okay. So save and close, please. Let's move quickly. We have other people too. So uh, I want to assume the other test cases that have been done. It's not like you make corrections here. So for anyone else um, um, writing on that particular PBI, with what we've done now, you should be able to also, it shouldn't be the exact words so uh you guys should be able to kind of um because no test case should be the same that's the truth so uh ask... Nathan, Nathan sorry Sarah's gonna ask a question when you yeah 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 go go ahead so uh, we have written one test case now and uh, for a particular um, user story, we can write multiple test cases. Are you able to show us, we have written like a happy part. Are you able to show us how to write an a on happy parts? Let me see. Yeah, you've been talking about that. What test case is that? It's not all so test cases case that have uh, on happy part. Yeah, like for example, if you want to write your name when you're logging in, the login should character should only be like alphabets. What if sure. the test and it's alphabet and numerical, just sort of things. Oh. But we yeah. want it to just be eight characters and then you- Do you have the test case? No, I'm just giving an example on top of my head. Um, I don't have the test case. I, I haven't read through each of the, every um scenarios i'm I'm just wondering you are going ahead of the game right no, not really i'm just it's you know. good it's good so for that um if you want to do if you are doing uh yeah. if you are doing negative testing rest for you want to say something if you want me to take that out, just go on and I'll just add something. Okay. okay. So for negative testing, um, you say, for instance, a login or sign up. Mm -hmm. So after you've done the happy part, for you to do the negative part, if it's, um, say, for instance, it says the password. So I know why you are asking. Is it because I showed you page? <laughs> Anyway, 
Now, say for instance, like that one I showed you guys, it had, um, uh, what is it called? Mandatory fields. All the fields were mandatory. So in that case, they all have to be tested because if you don't, if you omit any feed, then it, it will fail. So you now have to test that field to see that if you omit any field, we used to be able to sign up. Yeah. So that's you doing negative testing. So by the time you click on, um, after you've omitted, say, for instance, your name, and then you click sign up, and then it goes through, mm -hmm. then is that's a bug. Yeah. But if it doesn't go through, then it's passed. Yeah. Correct. So the same goes, so when it now comes to like um password, um maybe the password uh, has given you that um it must be alphanumeric, including special characters, including uh uppercase, including um numbers. So on that particular field alone, you have to carry out all those testing on it. So if you also give you a minimum of character of um uh, um uh, characters to uh, impute. Say, for instance, it says minimum of seven. You have to test it to see if you put only six, if it will go through. Mm. Now, if it goes through, then it's a bug. But if it doesn't go through, then it's passed. Now, you will then also check for the alpha, um, uh, um, special character. If you impute, I'll say maybe say seven um and um, and um, seven characters without a special character, and it goes through, that is a bug. Then you also check for the numbers, so you do it accordingly like that. One, every everything that has been highlighted, you have to test it. So if you if if it says a uh, special character, you have to test for special characters. If it's not there, will it go through? If it says um maximum of um seven. Oh, uh, sorry, minimum of seven, and you put six, and it goes through. It's a bug. Even if you have the alpha numeric, you have the character, you have everything that is required, but it's only six. Now, if it goes through, that is a bug. As a, that's one way of explaining negative testing. So when it also now comes to email, say for instance you remove the at sign, and it goes through, that is a bug. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so those those are the ways to test the negative testing, but don't worry, you get there. It is not required now for us, is it? It's not required. Yeah, just in Sprint One. Why not? You will you will do login and all that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Redford, add to it. No, I mean you pretty much explain everything. <laughs> yeah. So I think my point is thank you so much for explaining. Um really clear. If we're still going to end up doing that, how do we write the test case for those scenarios is my question. But what you need, what you need the actual story to for her to explain that or show us. All right, so with the test case, let's say for instance, you're writing a negative scenario or unhappy path for logging. First of yeah. all, you like to validate the user field. So you'll give a title like validate invalid. Oh, okay, you, you guys were asked not to validate, not to use validate or verify, right? To write yes. your cases. So you can write test to check um, invalid username. So in that way, you will start with the test step. So the, just the usual test steps, all right? So giving I navigate to the website, when I click on Login and I enter invalid username. So there's something called shared steps. So I mean, as time goes on, I think Rita has told you, you you put in your data, which is the invalid data. Then you have an assertion that then uh, may then this error message should pop up when I click on login. This error message should pop up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you are writing. You are writing like. The way you write your valid, that's the same way you write your invalid. But this okay. time around, yeah, it, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to, you, you don't have to be able to log in with an invalid username. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So 
I'll go over again. So test to uh, test to check invalid username, all right? So you have your first test step, which of whatever you do on the web, you first of all navigate to the website. When you navigate to the website, you click on login. When you click on login, you enter username. So instead of you to enter valid username this time around, you enter an invalid username. Uh, you enter password and you enter a valid password because you are only testing invalid username. So you enter a valid password, then you will have your accession. So if you are writing a different um, test case for invalid password, you enter a valid username and you enter an invalid password. All right, so there is something called um, battery value analysis. Um, is to check like when it comes to password, you know, login, stuff like that, you have to use that um, boundary, boundary analysis to do it. So you test around the boundaries, you know, of it, you can, there's something also called equivalent partitioning and all of that. Yeah, they are, we haven't taken them up. I touched on it on the boundary. I think I did on the boundary value analysis, which is BVA. And yeah. they haven't done that. Well, guys, another research boundary value analysis and equivalent uh, partition. Yeah, you can use all of that to um, write your negative and positive scenarios. Can you repeat that, Rita, please? I didn't catch it. Boundary value analysis, BVA, and then uh, equivalent partitioning. All right. Who is that, Davis? Yes. Okay, so uh, next week you'll come and tell us uh, Friday. Ah, uh, I'll find trouble. No, it's good. It will help you, trust me. Those of you putting yourself forward, it does help. Ask all the questions. This is where you make your mistakes. I do say it all the time. So this is where you are learning. So just do everything here, trust me. Once you, once you make a mistake, you will never forget it. That's one way to learn. So don't be scared to make a mistake. Even when you ask the, I mean, I ask very stupid questions. Too. So ask, no matter what you think in your head, uh, this question doesn't sound well. No, ask, you know. When I say stupid, no, like I'm just trying to make you guys feel free. So not like stupid, stupid. Yeah, so, okay. Boundary value analysis on what? Equivalent partitioning. All right. Okay, so... um. That's KG, yeah. KG, I think that has answered all your questions that you wanted to yeah, ask. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So where are we going next now? Um, Davis, you were having issues with yours. Share your screen, please. Nathan, you had four test cases. Uh, the others are good, right? I'll go and go through it again. Is that Nathan? I'll go and go through it just to make sure. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. fine. Uh, okay. If if you don't mind me asking, um, Rita. Yeah, um, sorry, so your hand was up. I wasn't seeing the board. That's no, that's fine. fine. So yes. say, for example, I think this is probably just to also, I, I'm trying to touch on what um, KG was talking about. Um, I, I want to find out if, say, for example, like you, you said, um, she, she was saying something about the negative um, scenario if you want to do it. Now, if you have, you said you have to follow the gherkins that are written by the BAs mm -hmm. in the um, stories. If they don't write all the gherkins and they've probably only put maybe just once, maybe just one scenario, maybe the happy path and um and probably the negative one, one negative one. Mm. But you want to you want to write test cases for all the different options, like um mm -hmm. the, let me answer you. I already know where you are going. So the BAs will not write negative testing for you in some cases. Um, like sometimes they'll just do sign up, but it is of best practice for you to always have a negative testing on sign up. So sometimes if you are, if you have a good BA, they will put in all the steps for you. But sometimes you just have sign up as a test case and as a um, user story. And then what you have there is just your happy path. But you have to carry out negative testing on it. 
So most times the BAs we do, uh, they will write acceptance criteria on mostly login and uh, negative testing on login. But most times they don't even do with sign up. And and even some tests, um, there are some features that it's not only sign up. It's just that whenever I'm explaining, well, I don't know why, whenever I'm explaining it, I don't remember all these features. But a lot of features have negative testing apart from login and sign up. But it depends on whatever feature you are working on. So if you have a feature that have a happy path, and you, this is you not thinking outside the box as a QA, and you are thinking, okay, yes, what if this is like that sign up now? They don't, there's, I've never seen any uh, user story with a negative um, acceptance criteria on sign up. So it's we the QAs that go out of our way to do that, which is part of your job. So there are some features that we also be giving to you. You will think outside the box and say, okay, this thing is like this on this side. What if it is not like this on this side? That is you carrying out a negative testing. What would be the outcome? So that's how it is. Yeah, and Rita, let me also add something to it. Um, yeah, that's fine, Simon. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yes, well, go ahead. Yeah, you guys shouldn't be spoiled with the, you know, with the test cases or the test tests or getting whatever the BAs are writing for you. Um, so it's just because on this platform, the BA sort of like help you guys. They they do that to, not to help you, but that's the way of working here. Because at the end of the day, this place is sort of like a workspace. So you guys shouldn't really be spoiled with it. Because at the end of the day, when you go out there, you might not have a BA in your team. All right. Me, for instance, in my organization, we don't have a BA. So you guys need to learn how to write test cases, even without, you know, what the what the get kit or the steps the BAs give out to you guys or they write in their user stories. And just like Rita mentioned, in when you are writing a negative scenario, for instance, you, you don't have that written for you because in, in this instance, you didn't have that. And if you are supposed to write a negative scenario, you, you wouldn't be like, oh, okay, I have to follow the steps these BAs have written. So you guys should step out of that kind of comfort zone and learn how to write your test steps and your test cases because like that, that is exactly what you are being hired for as a QA. That is what you have to be good at, writing test cases and test steps. So yeah, that, Rita, that's just what I wanted to add to it. Yeah, thank you so much for clearing that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Um... Um, Davis, why is the uh, Azure fighting with you? What happened? Okay, know. and you said you didn't save. He saved now. That's why you have it. If, if not, it won't be here. There will be nothing on your expected result. Oh, really? So I was expecting this save and close to be. Uh... You already saved and closed it. That's why you have it saved. If no. not, it would have been blank. Oh. What, what I experienced that day, when I finished uh, typing all of this, I wanted to just save only, not even yes. save and close. And then mm -hmm. I just saw it this way. Uh, because you already clicked on the save now. I did Did you click on the drop down? I clicked on the drop down, but, but it was just found this way, the way it's looking now. So nothing was happening. And it's saved, obviously, because if not, it would have been blank. So let's just go through your expected results. So you said, given I'm on it, I'm on team binary SharePoint page, the team binary SharePoint page is accept, is accessed successfully. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Then does anyone think um that um sorry who is that is that Rexford okay um is the expected result for line one okay everyone please I need everybody's input we are twenty two on the call hallelujah that's good guys come on yeah okay. I need I need twenty two screening please bring them on. Okay, it's one of your your senior, my mentor shot. 
Okay. Bukola. I'm seeing that name for the first time. Bukola. Are you on team agile or binary? Yeah, sorry, it's, it's Timmy Adebayo. I'm just using the system. Okay. You yeah. borrowed someone's system, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh uh um Adebayo Victor, can you tell me if that um line one is okay, right? Yeah, it's okay. You sure? Or you are giving, just saying that? Giving I am on team. No, it should be given I am on I am a team binary member. No, that's what the that's the action. That's what the BA gave him. So we are talking about the expected result. Uh, the team binary points. Jesus. Expected result. Mm. If you say it's okay, egg this. And Fuad, did I call your name properly? Fuad. Yeah, I'm okay. here. I'm here. Okay, you are very quiet. Say something, please. And Edex, I need your input. I I'm just joined now. I'm not too sure over there. Okay. Now. Kwazim, are you settled now? You typed that you are back. Thank you for letting yes, us please. know. Yes, I'm settled. Okay. How was your day? Are you okay? I didn't even want to talk about that now because it's a problem. Okay. Anyway, um, for the expected result, um, yeah, I think it's okay, except mm. you want me to rephrase. Yeah, you can... Share it less here. My my sound better. My look easier. Um, Tim Banner pages successfully navigated. Mm -mm. That's even that what, too. Uh, so he says, "I am on Tim Banner share page, share point page." So the Tim Banner share point page is accessed successfully. I mean, it's okay. There's nothing wrong yeah. with it, to be honest. Uh, it could also be um the binary share point page. Can you just take off the the D from the beginning? Yes, please. You can just say the binary share point page is displayed successfully. No, it's fine. Don't change it. It's okay. I'm just giving so someone else can use that if you are working on this same PBI. So that's why I said everyone should be on their laptop. So anything we are saying, myself and Rexford, you can quickly grab it and put, use that. So, because no test case should be the same. I keep repeating that, please. So when I view the footer session, the footer session is clearly seen. <laughs> okay. Just put is visible there, please. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's all right, but just, yeah. We are trying to be a bit more professional. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, so you say, then I should see it in binary Azure board link, MS Teams link, and link to Blue Sky YouTube videos. So is that was that on the ad, additional uh, thing? Or that, or that was how the story, uh, that was how the, the BAs wrote the action, the acceptance criteria. Um, that was that, that is how it was written. Uh, the, okay. next, the next thing on the additional information was uh, just uh, a screenshot of the page, how it appears. Okay, so you then put home page content, including team binary, Azure, board link, MS link. So you have link twice, MS link. Yeah, you have link twice, yeah links to blue sky youtube video is displayed correctly okay that's good um sorry uh can i uh comment you said i haven't spoken to who is that um edx oh edx welcome okay thank you um so um the test case we're looking at uh, we're trying to ascertain the existence of useful links on team binary right so um 
for us to be able to know that the link is useful, it has to be like um, the the link is actually redirecting us to the YouTube videos. So okay. if our, our our expected result isn't it supposed to be that the link successfully redirected us to YouTube pages? Because if we're just looking at it this way, it hasn't redirected us, so we don't know if the link is useful yet. So I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm coming in. Correct. Okay, I, I get what you want to say there. So so let me look at the title, to be honest. It says, Ascertaining the Existence of Useful Links on Team Binary Sites, which is okay. But you can then also say, um, um, Mr. DG said, no verifying and validating. I would have said validating that um, the, the, the links are visible. Because uh, I think that's what this um, um feature is talking about is the visibilities of the link. So he then said, so right now we are not clicking. We are not trying to see if these links are active, if they are working as expected yet. So that will not be another feature. So if you notice, I said this last week, some of the features already have click in it. It's not supposed to be. You guys are in sprint one. So what should have happened in this sprint is you making sure that everything is visible. But the BAs are a bit ahead of themselves, which is okay. So because I saw some features having clicks on it. In sprint one, you are not supposed to have clicks because one, you people have not even started automation yet. So like this feature is a very good one. The, I must commend the BA that wrote this one you did a good job here to be honest so you can work on your title so when you say useful link i, I don't know about that but because the they have, they have not said anything about useful on your asset or your um acceptance uh criteria but i don't know if they did on the description, description. yeah i think yeah. it's there that, that's why i used it okay so if yeah. they did then it's fine but I agree with Edex, so I think it's uh, he's correct. Mm -hmm. So, so just guys, uh, this is just what it is. Make sure everything aligns with what you've been given. Don't go outside. And the only reason you might come back to the BAs if if you think the way they've structured their acceptance criteria does not sound well because this is you as a QA thinking outside the box, then they can update. You can tell them how to write it. Like, okay, the way you wrote it like this, I think it, it was the one Nathan was sharing. You know, the, was it the line three or the line four that uh, Rexford was also talking about? That can be modified, you know. Other than that, that's just what it is. So, um, and which I think your expected result is good. It says um, content include them um, in binary Azure, homepage content including team binary uh, displayed correctly so so that should be a not is because you have more than one isn't it yes yeah, see you have more than one link so it should be uh okay so thank you your save and close is there for you now so if you use the drop down yes so which I think that was what you did without realizing it. I don't exactly. know. I did that and, you know. <laughs> and you were still <laughs> expecting to have your cake. <laughs> I almost come to you. I almost come to you on other days. I'm like, okay, maybe you may be resting. So I just let you. <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> anyway. So, but in the case of that's needed when you are still working on the board. But if you are not working on the board, you should save and close is better off. You know, mm -hmm. so... Okay, who else? Um, I'm sure you have more than one um, um PBI Davis assigned to you. And so any of the guys on um Azure um Excel quickly, is he um uh, Simon or Umi? One of you. Yeah, Simon. Okay. You have to use your ex, Nana. Should be you want to do only save uh Davis. Uh I, I want to save and close to uh, <laughs> Many so if you want if you want that to happen yeah, yeah, yeah. just remove the uh so come to line four now remove no 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 
Sorry. Oh, you didn't have line four. Go back to line three. Uh -huh. So you can just save and close. Don't worry. It has come up already. I wanted to tell you to just, yeah. So that's it. It's done. Okay, someone else should share, please. Is there anybody that has not written a test case? You were not here. Please speak now. Yeah. Unless I'm waiting, um, but I wrote that. I put did my I own down did on I share? Exam. Uh, Simon, yes, please. Okay. I, I, I wrote my um test case, but uh, on, on Hasio, and when I was checking it now, I noticed that some of the test cases I've written is deleted. I don't know why. You mean who deleted? We must verify who deleted it. Or oh, you didn't save? No, I saved it. I was very sure I saved it, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I was trying to see it now. I, I can't I can't see it. Okay, when on you the, finish. The, um, the... When uh, who is sharing? When Simon finish sharing. Come on. Yeah, um, I've also not okay, written any test case. Have a similar issue like that as well. Hold on, guys, one at a time, please. Um, what's his um um uh, Bukola? I saw your hand hop first. Yeah. I okay, I maybe after she share one because I tried to I just got my login yesterday and I was trying to try my test key, but I don't it was just mixed up. So maybe I, I will just show you and then you can call okay. me on that. That's fine. Okay. After Simon, you go. Uh Edis, please. Yeah, okay. Uh I've actually not written any test case yet though. So Edis, you that you sounded like a pro a few minutes ago. What happened? Yeah, I've not really had uh, time, so I'm just uh, before I want to indulge, I want to finish up the videos. So I think by today I'll be done with the past videos. Then were you not in the previous meetings? No, no, I, I have not been. In the so um, but I think you kind of have a, a deep understanding of what what needs to be done, right? Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Are you on the board? Do you know how to yes, navigate? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm on. Okay, then you are good to go. So those are one of the vital things. Know how to navigate first of all, and then the test case. It doesn't have to be you knowing how to do it quick, 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 quick. Now, 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 now. It's a work in progress. It's, it's a continuous practice. The more you do it, the more you get better at it. So yeah, that's just what it is. To get your hands dirty, I'm repeating it again. You can practice on Excel. Write all the test cases, all the features that have been committed on the board just for your own practice because you are not submitting it. It's not going to reflect on Azure board that you are working on it. So just use the Excel to rewrite all the um, features and just practice writing your test case. After writing it, you can call one of your QA to just look at it with you, you know. Reach out to KG, Temitokwe and um, Davis and the rest of them, Umi, and just tell them to to peer review, look at it together, okay? So that way you guys will learn even more because when you are teaching somebody else, it also helps you to know it. It assimilates that way. Please open your Excel. We are waiting for you. That's why I'm talking. Because can, you, sure. can you see it? Your Excel is not open or is it just me? Okay, oh, I thought you were going to Excel. This is, um, what's this? It's a split screen. Can't you see it? No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Or is it just me? Can anyone else um attest to that, please? We are only seeing. Is this your desktop? Yeah. This You're is like your, your file explorer. File explorer. Yeah. Okay. I can't hear you. Sorry. Say that again. This is your folder. Your file explorer. Yo. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Let me start again. Uh, that way your hand is up quickly, please. Okay, maybe. Uh, no, I Guys, was it's almost ten o'clock. Oh. When you say we should share the screen, no problem. Maybe let us share. But my own is on Excel. So that's it. Okay, yeah. So after Simon, now, um, the next person because it's on Excel. Book next, right? Because it's on Excel, the the user... okay. So what you will do? Just copy this your user story. Put it on um, paste it on um. What is it called? Notepad for me, please. Okay. You can now split your screen as well. Mm. So I can access resources for down the share button. So if you can copy the description as well, please. Just paste it on your notepad. One second.
some reason my laptop's going so slow. So apologies. Are you having network issues or you just have no, to No, I'm just, yeah, because it's on different sheets. So I'm not quite sure how you're going to see both of them at the same time. No, 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 no. Just share the Excel first. Don't worry. Share only your Excel. Share okay. your entire screen. Or share screen. I think we are using Zoom. Yeah. Everything's just in the way. But based on what is said today, I think I did mine incorrect. Incorrect? Yeah. Simone, I'm disappointed. Incorrect. I know. Apologies. No, uh, you have to pay for that. So how would you see the um okay story? No, you I'd ask you to paste it on on uh what is it called? On um Well actually I can just put it on the spreadsheet next to it. Just let me paste it there in the column. So we are um can't even remember how to use this word. Excel is old school. Okay. Um no, what you do what you pasted. No, 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 don't worry, hold on, hold on. What what is it called? Oh, you've pasted it already. Can you see it now? Yeah, just drag it up. Let it align. No, no, no. Okay, because you brought it down. So, um. Okay, let me just drag it up then. So where, where do you want me to paste it here? Yeah, let it just be in the same, yeah. Because it's a bit down, we can't see the. Oh, it spread out. Oh, it spread out. Okay, so hold on. Um, how many expected results do you have? I can see. Two. So the first one say helpful resources is visible. So what was your, when, given I mean, so that was why I said you should put it on the. As your um, board, yeah. No, 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 no. So, do you, hold on, um, Simon, you have access to our as your board. Yeah, I do. Then why are you not doing it like that? And again, um, because... the, hold on, the 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 what's it called? The the one that had the dev done was um team binary, right? Yeah. Um, um, Ag uh, team agile. Do you have any of your PBIs? Nothing's, in... been... Nothing's in dev done yet. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but you guys need to chase it all because your sprint is ending and um, you guys are supposed to start executing by now. Because if not, it would then take it into sprint two and yeah. you people might not be able to because once the the course has ended, it's where you get to or they might say you guys might be forced to rush. I don't know, pressure might then come kick in and all that. So it's, it's better you guys are in good um timeline like things are working as expected because if if it's now like um too many things getting done at the same time the pressure you, you i mean i don't know the purpose will might be messed up that way i don't know how to explain it so if i'm um, to follow what you've written you say given i'm a member of team agile so your expected result said what so what is in this E that say navigate to footer of the home page? I don't know which step. So 
um, navigate to the footer of the home page would be given I'm a member of Team Agile. So that was the expected result? So the expected result is helpful resources is visible. Helpful resources, what resources? That's the link, helpful resource button. That's the story. Yeah, but you, the you, your your first for this given I am a team member. What are you? What is the expected result? That the user should be able to log in. Okay, that's the one you put on your precondition. Yeah. Yeah. Then you just. I mean, just yeah, like handle it. Breaks start, well. Just like she said from the start, she is messed up a little bit, which it is just, <laughs> yes. This is just mm -hmm. like the start of the spring, all right. This is just the early days. Mm -hmm. So there are there are actually two ways of writing your test cases, which is the in Gherkin syntax, and you have the traditional way of writing your test cases. You were trying to approach it using the traditional way. Mm -hmm. but yeah. That, yeah, you, you didn't get it right. But I'm very sure you've understood what we've done today. So um, we will advise you to take it back and try to, you know, get it done and get it done like the right way. And hopefully the next time we meet, we can review. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. If if you can use the Azure board, yeah. just go ahead. Yeah. You know how to navigate and create it. Yeah, based on what you showed today, I can... I'm sure no, I, I mean, if you can use, go through work item, do it like that. Do, Yeah. You know how to move around the board, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll be checking on it on Friday. Okay. How many test cases were you assigned? Your team is Quasim, right? Simon. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how many team. test cases were you Everyone assigned? Everyone... Everyone has five test cases. Five. Okay, five. that's fine. So, oh, should Please, I guys. show a simple one? Say that again. Should I show a simple one? What do you mean by simple one? Like, did you the did team you, logo, you... for example? Isn't that yeah? But but like rest for said, were you doing it in? Were you writing it in the PDD format, or you were just doing it in the traditional way? Because I think what you did, maybe yeah, you I just watched... did it in a traditional way. Yeah, you you watch um maybe uh, a YouTube video. It's fine. Um, you you it's not a mistake, but because you are learning, you've kind of mixed it up. So follow one step, and which is I will advise you just use this one we are using. Um, okay. that process can still be used in like in some organizations. They they don't use this BDD format. But it's rare because a lot of people are using Agile now. So just follow this method because um the the IT world is evolving a lot and um a lot of organizations are moving into Agile. So hardly um so even if um by the time you understand how to write it in BDD, trust me, to do the traditional way will be like nothing because then you are not applying the the gecking to it and you are just writing it out like that so that's just yeah. the difference yeah okay so don't confuse yourself just follow this process that we are using and it will be easier for you yeah yeah thank you you're welcome um dark wall okay. i think uh you know can I share the screen? Maybe just... Sorry, I asked, uh, was it uh, Bukola that you're supposed to share? I think after Bukola. Is Bukola okay. ready? Yes, I'm, I'm ready, please. Okay, go ahead, please. Let's hurry up, guys. Oh. Time is fast, thanks. I don't know if you can see my screen now. It's coming up. Yeah, actually, I just got my login yesterday, but I was trying to play around it and see. Have you uh, watched the video? Yes, I watched the video, but most of the video starts in between how to write the test case. No one starts really from where, where to where to start the test case. No. 
it shouldn't be. I don't know. I I do I didn't I didn't watch it. Yeah. But anyway, your screen is so large. I don't know if it's me. But yeah, so you have some you are in team binary, right? So you have some yeah. in and um, dev done. Uh, let's go. Which which one is yours? Do you know which um PBI has been assigned to you? On uh, the team. The one assigned to me is uh I think I was assigned on, on primary and nine six seven three. Yeah. Um. If, what's the name? Uh, right test case on the Azure Dev Board. That's the uh -huh. title. Yeah, that was the title. Okay. Well, anyway, I can So where is the test? Sorry, who's yeah. speaking? I never just confirm what you're what you've been assigned. Are you part of binary team? Sorry. What's his uh what's your name? Edex. Adebayo Bicola. No, yeah, it's Adebayo, but I'm using Bukola system now. Oh, is this Adebayo Victor? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so Adebayo Victor, you've been assigned to um one and uh, nine six seven three important dates and time as well as useful links but i think the, your primary one is nine six seven three thank we you we can hear you there can anyone hear oh i said oh. Adibayo, you the say. primary one is what nine six seven three important dates and time okay go to sprint let's go and see from there first of all if it's there That's cool, look. Not yeah. gently. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. That's it. Good. Where is that? Important date and time nine six seven three. That's it. Okay. That's what you've been assigned to. Um. Okay, 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 so it's from here I will start to write the test case, right? Okay, so that's yours, yeah? So click on the green one. If you have a pen and paper, write to. If not, if you know you can master it. So click on this green plus sign, please. This one? Yes, please. Okay. Now give it a title. I mean, you can always update it. Um, like you know, we talked about the title of your test case. It has to somebody needs to read your title and be able to understand what you want to do, what the outcome is. So it says important date and time. You can just put testing important date and time, but you will update it. Okay. Not in capital letter, it is camera case. Camera case. The I should be uppercase, please. Oh. No, no, no. You don't need to erase everything. Just come back to the I. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Testing important. It's written. It's sitting next to you. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Thank you. Um. Uh, so just drag it to, drag it to the next column, please. Drag it. Okay. Um. If you open it up on the three, click on the three ellipses. Okay. You can either click on yeah that testing whatever thing. So. I mean, this was how KG assigned it to herself, but there are other methods. But just um, on that assign, at the top, on assign, on assign, on assign, on assign, on assigned, at the top, under 9821. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, save and close. So now let's go to the board of board. Uh, go to the board of board. Uh, 
Okay, move to the where is the where is the um Adeba use the arrow on the bottom. No 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 no. You are moving to the left and uh, right. Not that arrow, the other arrow. This go one. back to no 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 go back to where we are just now. Go back, go back to where yeah, you see that other arrow. Come down. No, 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 no. Come down. Bring your cursor down. The other arrow next to it. Yes. So is your ticket in dev done? Hold on. Did I see something like that? Oh, that's a team development. Okay, keep going. Yes, it's there. Now move it to NQA, please. Try Sorry, it. It's, it's not my name. No, no, that's not for you. That's for the BA. Okay. So, uh, which was what, Mr. Okay, drag it to the next NQA. Okay. Now, open it at the top there. Yeah. Yeah, just click on it. So for that place where it says in QA, that's where you put your name. Come back here. No, 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 no. Um, um, Adebayo. Yeah. So you see where I say Jack M here. Come down. No, not down. Okay. Come down to the next one. Hold. Yeah. Okay. You see in QA. Uh -huh. I say in QA. Where I say QA. Click on that on that side. So everybody should do. No, 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 no. On our side, yeah. Put your name there. Um, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. QA, you are a QA, QA on our side. Oh, okay. Yes. QA. Now put it there. Put it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you save and close, let's go back to the body face there. Save and close. Let's go back to the board. It's still not coming up. I don't know why. Okay, this is the one Mr. Deji was saying. They didn't have the NQA, whatever thing. Okay, go back to this. Open it again. Let's try it. Let's try the top one. Okay, change it at the top there where I say Jack M. Yeah. Save and close. Let's go back and see. Yeah, is there now? No, that's wrong. Because it's saying it's created by you. It's not created by you. Yeah. So go back and change it. So the um what's your name? Um QA lead. You know, Mr. Deji talked about this. So you push should go back to the QAs and SM, tell them to put the QA column. And Jack M, look for Jack M. Search. Now click on that search. You should come. Yeah, click on it. Yeah, save and close. It's not created by you, so you cannot put. But you can put your name on that bit, um, like we did now, and um, the QA lead. Please chase it up with the SM because your name should appear. But another issue is because it's not one person that is working on it as well. Mm. So, well, I think your name do appear on the child when you create a child. So, yeah. Mm, so, when you people start using the tester accounts, your names will be there. So, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, you were doing it right just now. Um. At the bio. Yeah. Yeah. So, change the task. To test case, please. And then. Well, it, it of... That's up to you. Mm. So now is the time for you to. Um...
Is that all you want to? Is you are just telling me the importance of date and time, so you can also say on where. Importance of date and time because it, on the description it says um, can say the description again. I was saying earlier. I was saying my eyes. But it's fine. You can always update that. So let's move quickly. So move up. You should see where we say okay. Because I'm not seeing the bottom. Yeah. I'm not seeing that. Yeah. Click on it. Okay. So now. um, No, no, no. Don't close. No, no. So you will copy all your actions, um, which is on your uh, acceptance criteria, and put it on the action. Yeah? Where will I see that, please? Okay. So um, quickly, I just... And take you, um, go up where you have team binary on that tab. No, 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 tab, 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 up. Browser, sorry, up, up. Your browser, your browser. Yeah, I, I, want to, I want to drag this down. Hold on, yeah, that's not how you drag it down. Have you duplicated it? No. Yeah, uh -huh. so we have to duplicate first. Yes. So you right click. Yes. Okay. Now, duplicate. And then, once you duplicate, which you have a, an understanding of that anyway. Once you duplicate, you drag one, drag one and drag the other one alongside each other. If you are dragging, you drag from the top. Yes. You drag from the top. Drag it down from the top. Drag down. Bring it down. Down. Okay. Have you done it? I can't see. I drag the next one. This phantom is closed. It's blocking my view. So she wants you to isolate that particular tab. Do you know how to do that? No. Yeah, so you just left click on it and just drag it down, like try to just drag it down. I I used to see that uh, browser because I can't see it. There's yeah. something blocking my view here. Are you, are you sharing just one screen? You are sharing just like the browser, isn't it? Can you stop sharing and, and share your entire screen? Which one? So it looks like you are just sharing your browser, yeah? Or a tab or yep. Yeah. So just stop sharing and, and and share the entire screen. Okay. Um okay. Ade Bayo, are you yes. are you in binary? Yeah, I'm in binary. So KG, please can you take him? Yeah. KG, is KG stay on the call. Ade Bayo. Yes. Are you uh how is your schedule tomorrow? I'm available tomorrow. We can do something together if you don't mind. Okay, is that David? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much, David. Please, okay. please, can I share something, please? Kwasim, yeah, please go ahead. Um, please can um someone from Team Agile share because I feel like Team Binary is it people are, are sharing more. Uh, from Team Agile, please. Yes, I, because I the last know. time. The last time, so just one person, and that okay, was okay. Who else? It's okay, it's fine. It's please, fine. From Jamaja, please. Thank you. Who, wa who want to share now? Quickly, please. Now, I want to... <laughs> who is sharing that or oh, Malara? One of you, anybody that get there. Let me just share. Let me share my oh. Malara. Is there a question you want to ask? I want to share a thing. Okay, after um, that call. So, Team Agile, be Agile. Uh, Jumi, yeah, I think Jumi, you wanted to share, right? Yes, I would love to share. No, I've not done it before, but I'd I love to give it a try. Well, you have not tried it at all? <laughs> I've not shared before. Oh, share. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, so um, Dapo, well, you've also done yours in the traditional way, yeah. which I think you yeah. people are using you too. So no, please. I mean, the... Sorry. But... No problem. Let me. I didn't use YouTube. It was even I first and foremost did it on uh, what's it called? Microsoft Azure. Word. So I first and foremost this is my notepad. Mm -hmm. So I first and foremost copy all. Okay, so where out. is your expected result? Then later I did it on uh, I think on uh, Microsoft Word. Word. So before I now take it to Excel. So this is the uh, expected results. These are the test cases. The test case. I there. log into the team SharePoint page. Where is the okay? Like as we just said to Simone, can you do the same? Um if you guys want your mentor that uh, told you to, to do it on Excel to review it for you, it's fine as well. So have you created a tax on the board? Yeah, I've not created any tax. So do you know how to navigate on the board? I can't hear you properly, Dapo. Yeah. I think I have the idea of going to Sprint, then coming to So you know, this is the main reason why we Rita was advising you guys to use the Azure board because I pretty and much believe each continue navigate your way around Excel. So this is the right to like Azure and Jira. This is the tools that are being used out there. So it's it's very advisable for you guys to 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 navigate your way around it, use it so that you get familiar with it. Actually, the reason was that maybe I just got access to the board, maybe because of this before I wasn't it's okay. fine, no pressure. Okay. Just take your time. Um you guys are working as a team regardless of um, Team Binary or Agile, if you need help, okay. pull anybody from Team Binary. If you reach out and you are not getting help, let me know, please. Okay. But I'm sure um, the people in Binary are ready to help. Yeah? Okay. Otherwise, when you guys are doing your demo, they will outshine you people. You push you outshine them now, Team Agile. Okay. Because if you guys are lucky, I'm the one giving the feedback. I will not behave as if I was the one that took you people. I'm going to give the feedback as it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it because I taught you guys the same thing. So I'm not expecting one team to be doing a different thing from the other team. You understand? So please, every instructions. I understand it was the mentor that told you to do that. You can also get the mentor to review it for you. But like as I said, the, the people on Azure board now, they are one step ahead. They are oh, That's the truth. They are one step ahead. So they can apply for a manual job the way it is. That's just the truth. Okay. Thank you. So do that. On Friday, I will review it. Yeah? No problem. No problem. Thank you. Um, Jumi, please, quickly. After Jumi, I think, uh, who was the other person? Was it Omolara? Yeah, after Jimmy and Malara, I are you are you guys both in um Team Agile? If you are binary, I won't attend to you because mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Is Jimmy in a uh, binary? No, I'm in Agile. Okay, good then. Okay, let's go for it quickly, please, because we've um exceeded our time. But I'm happy. I'm impressed. You guys are doing something which is really good. And um, for anyone that has not started yet, it's not good. It's not good. At least those that couldn't do um work on Azure board, they are using the Excel. Whichever way yeah. they've learned something, that's the truth. So 
if you are not pulling your weight, it's not good. Please, please. Um, please, Amolara, I'm waiting for you. That's why I'm still talking. Please go ahead. Toyo, is it a question? Taiwo, is it a question? If it's a question, please. Oh, good evening. It's not a question. I just wanted to see, like, if nobody comes in Agile is able to share screen, but I've done one on um, Azure board. On Azure, Azure board. To share. Well on Azure done. Board. But okay. if Amolara um, is okay. available, and that's okay thank you so much to you um taiwo please yeah to work now okay that's fine catch up on the recording and just follow suit do what is expected of you um i mean we don't say anybody shouldn't go to work go to work but in your spare time try and catch up with what you've missed that's one way of um doing it everybody's working to be honest yes so I know it varies because of either day or night. Yeah. So, um, who is sharing? Um, Jumi, what's happening? Yeah, can you see my screen? I'm it's sharing. It's not coming up yet. Can somebody share for me? Any comment? If it does talk, I will watch it later. Somebody should share for you. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, what? Um, uh, have you worked on Azure board? Yes. <laughs> Um, okay, you just want me to review your test case? Yes. So that any, any error, yeah. that I will watch it. Okay, if anybody can do that, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but we we need to move quickly, please, guys. I need to end this call as quick as Jumi, your I mean, your screen is not coming up. Oh, maybe someone should have. Maybe someone else is shared. I've not done Okay, before. hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, okay, I remember you said so. Now click on um share screen. Yeah, please don't I've clicked on share screen. So when you click on share screen, what is it? What can you see? You should see um yeah, out of all the sorry. Um I can see screen document advance. I don't know which one to click. So hopefully just click on screen, the one highlighted in blue. And okay, click on yeah. share. Just click on share. Share. Yeah. Can you see my screen now? Okay. Yes, we can. Oh. So that's <laughs> how you share. No, it's Thank fine. Thank you so it's much. Fine. <laughs> that's how you share. Okay. Yeah. Um, given I'm a member of the Agile team, I'm a member of Team Agile. Um, uh, when I log in, there should be I there, or when user log into the team SharePoint page. On the action, no, on the action of number two. Mm -hmm. Action. action. Mm -hmm. oh. So, team SharePoint oh. page is successfully logged in. Well done. And I scroll to the team member section. Team member section is accessible. Mm. And I click on the team member section. Team member section profile page is displayed. So, and the page is displayed. Okay, because you have your step five. So on your action, you have that um step five there, right? Yes, so that's As, why I didn't write anything. Okay, so take it off, it's fine. Yeah, sometimes you just have to think outside the box. Like as I do say, the BAs will complicate issues sometimes. So take that number five out. Can I take it out? Hold on, hold on. Click on that number five, put your cursor there. Now click X, the red button, the red X up there. Okay. So then it says, and I click on team members section. Team members profile page is display. Then I am able to see their first and last name. Their first and last name are clearly visible, are visible, not clearly visible. Okay. Just remove the clearly. Yeah. I mean, it's all right, but yeah, maybe it's my own habit. It doesn't matter, to be honest. So can you scroll up? But that's it. Any additional information on the acceptance criteria? Was there any additional information? Well, it looks good. Oh. Well oh. done. I'm really, really um, happy with the way you... It looks... um. Very, very professional. 
Well Thank done. Thank you. Thank you. So if you have other, so for your title, uh, work more on your title. Um, Mr. DJ said no one should use validate or verify. I know we argued about it. I still use it, but yeah. So best practice, if you want to start practicing on your title, it's good to be honest, because sometimes people struggle on titles. So just summarize. Let your title be a summary of what you are doing. Yeah. So just work on your title. Other than that, it's perfect. Well done. And um, I want to believe you were able to assign it to yourself on the sprint board. Did you move it from the sprint board? But scroll yeah. up. Um, so am I scrolling up? Team member name. But I cannot see. Um, validate team agile name. No, no, no. Rexford. Is Rexford on the call? I'm still here. I can't see the chat. Um, I think is that a that's the test case, isn't it? So I don't you only see the child when you open the is it the that's the parent, isn't it? So she's opening yes. the child. Is that why we are not saying so, I yeah. don't know? Um, there's a child. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was wondering. Okay, that's fine. So just assign uh Assign it to yourself. I think I've done that. Because okay, that's your that. name. Okay, well yeah. done. Well done. Well done. Yeah, I'm very impressed. So, Timajai, you have somebody in your team that can direct you. Please, um, Jumi, um, please, um, help others that need help. It will also help you. Yeah, please. I know timing is an issue, but please, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, well done. Thank you. I'm impressed. Thank you. Uh, who is next, please? So anybody need help on Timajai, please use um Jimmy. Yeah. Uh Omalara, next, please. Um, so um uh, Jumi, to stop sharing, you click on the same place. You should see it on your board. Yes, well done. So that's how you share and not share. Yeah. So now you will okay. remember. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Jumi. Who is sharing next? Omalara, right? Is she on the call? Omalara, if you are speaking, you are muted. Please, can I quickly say something? Who is that? Was it? Yeah, go for it. Um, some of my team members, um, I think two or three persons, they still have issues with their own. Um, what's it called? Azure. They are yet to get access, so I think that's why some of my team members are behind. And we've tried to I am um, escalate to the SM for them to escalate to the admin, but I think yeah. it's taking forever. And keep chasing I feel that's, like... just keep chasing it up. Give me their names as well. Send it to me. Inbox it okay. to me. Let me send okay. it to allow me. I, I want to believe that uh, okay. KG, everyone in your team is okay, right? Team binary. Mm, I if... think so. I mean, um, what I'm doing is um going to catch up with them tomorrow. No, I mean, then... everyone is on the board. On, on the board. Your side. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yes. So okay. far, there, there are three people that we don't know. We don't know. Um, Three people that have, um, we found that we, they don't have access, but I've never, I've never spoken to them before. Golden, Oge, and, and some two other people. But what I've done is I've assigned them to those people that have got access. So whenever they speak to those people. Um, um, send their names to me. Let me find out if they are. They are not also on the call, right? No, I've not seen them on the call. Yeah, so maybe they are not registered. Like, because um, when I, yeah, okay, that's fine. Just send those names to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyone else from Team Agile, please, before we call it a night in the next 10 minutes, I'm ending this call, please. If there's no more, we'll go. We'll end the call now. Um, Fuad, you are okay, right? Are you in Agile? Okay, who has not spoken today? Olua Shagun. Umi, are you okay, Umi? You should be. Um, cousin has, has um raised our issues to you. I'm part of the poor who are, who are yet to get somebody. Say that again. You you don't belong to any team yet. I'm I'm with Team Aja, but I don't have access to Azure boards yet. Okay, I have you been writing it on Excel? 
Um, I'm about to start doing that. Please. And don't yeah. do it in the traditional way. Use the Gherkin um, language. Yes. And right, um, no yes, just get your hands dirty. Don't stay. Um, right, thank thank yeah. you. Yeah. And um, this is Omolara. Can you share your screen quickly, please, Omolara? Actually, I couldn't find the one that was at. I can't hear you if you are speaking. Malara, you are yeah, you you muted. Yes, Malara, you muted yourself. Okay, okay. Okay, my I couldn't find the task that was assigned to me. So I created the new task. I don't follow. You couldn't find the test case that was assigned to you? Yes, I couldn't find it. Maybe it's so Oh, but you've created a test case already. Yes. Oh, you, you designed it and then you couldn't, maybe you didn't save, but I think it's, nobody would delete it. Maybe you didn't save. Because apparently you guys don't have access to delete. So maybe you didn't save it. I think Davis had, no, was it, uh, Nathan had that issue as well. So, but yeah, it's fine. Um, are you, are you, comfortable with the way you wrote your test case is it okay or do no, you want it reviewed I, I, please i want to i've not done please anything. share your screen i've asked you to share but just go ahead yeah. and share um davis please quickly we have seven more minutes to go please yeah davis um, yeah, yeah sorry i want to ask her that a stupid question is this ah, ah. <laughs> sorry is davis there? Uh, this <laughs> This uh, getting syntax, I've been hearing it. I, I try to look it up on Google, but I'm not really getting it right. If you can change, go, ch change uh, your Google. <laughs> please, just a short explanation may help me. <laughs> hey, that's what we've been using now. Can somebody please explain? I may be using it. I don't even know. That is my, I don't even know. So you don't know what getting. Hey. I don't um, know. You're giving it up, your right? when and then. That's your, ge that's mm -hmm. your getting syntax. Okay. What's BDD, Davis? Say again. What's BDD? Ooh. Can somebody tell me the full meaning of BDD? Um, Samuel, Samuel, stay on the call. In the next one, two, three, four, five seconds. No checking off. <laughs> I'm not giving it. Samuel. Oh, oh, sorry. What's BDD? The full meaning of BDD. Uh, BDD behavioral de driven development or so. It's not. There's no also there. Uh, behavioral driven development. Well done. So what is that? What is behavioral driven development? Uh, it's an agile methodology. Okay. And what else can you say about it? Um, it talks about um the the um user behavior. I think that's what it encompasses. <laughs> Not too sure. Okay, Davis, look it up now. Okay. I've given you the go ahead. Promote close collaboration. That's an assignment for you people. I've been using it since. And it's just in your front. Okay. Um. Quickly. Um. Please share your Malara rights. Yes. Okay. This please. This is the one it. I just created. I don't. When you say the you one created, I really created. Is this your PBI that you are working on? I can't find the ones I work. Hold on. You have created a PBI. Is is yes. it the one BA created before? No. Is not. I just created. How did you not create it? I don't understand. Though. When you I keep saying you created it, you created it from the scratch. Yes. You're not meant to. <laughs> the Rexford, please help me here. I don't understand. Okay. okay. First of all, open it up. Let's see what's there. So basically, in a nutshell, she couldn't find the PBI that was assigned to her. So she decided to create a PBI. By... So it doesn't have description or acceptance criteria, right? It's empty. 
Yes. So you need to let I, the B and B A and the please, S and know. Please can please. I can I can I help out? Yes, go ahead. Um, Omara, please. Um, one of the PBIs assigned to you was nine seven one eight. So if if you can check for nine seven one eight, and you can just use that. Okay, but first we need to deal with this that she created herself. We are not meant to create a PBI if that's what you did. Yeah, that's uh, what I did. Okay, that's fine. It's all right. At least you've learned something. The good thing you know how to create a PBI. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I just said. Well done. You've learned something. To be honest, I haven't created one before. Uh, you've played around the board, but let the BAs and the SM know so this one can be deleted because it's empty. So you can't use it anyway. So when you say it's created, uh, it's deleted, maybe it was put in back into the backlog. Um, I don't know what happened with that PBI. Um, so they've given you another one. If you can create your test case on that, then on Friday, we'll look at it. All right. Do you Thank know how you. to do you know how to navigate? Okay. Uh what's the number? Let's quickly move it around the board. Um who who just um, spoke now? 9718. I'm looking for it. Yeah, so to simply look for okay. it, you just click on work items, go to the it should you should you should be in um in dev or committed. Exactly, because you are in a new. So these ones are even uh, stories it, yeah, that are not committed dev. yet. Yeah, check in there. Yeah, that's fine, KG. We'll be ending it now soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, I found it. Is this the formatic PBI? Or the yes. new one they just told you? No, it's the former one. Ah, thank God. Okay. <coughs> so that one, let them know so that they can delete it, right? So uh, where's your test case, please? Let's just quickly look at it. I have not worked on this. I worked on 9662, um, 9697. Okay. Um, I'll do a peer review with Jumi for you. You are in Aja, right? Yes. Um, Jumi, please, can you help her out? Um, let her show you the PBI she has done and um just review it with her. You can add um Tim Itokwa is in your team, right? Yeah, to that yes. call. Yes. yes. So speak to Tim Itokwe and uh, Jumi. Let them um I think Tim Itokwe is fine. He didn't share his screen. I'm not surprised. Um so yeah. So guys, on um, Kwazim, are you is your is your PBI is okay? You didn't share your screen either. I want to believe you are fine. Yes, I'm okay. I did mine on um, Google Sheet because I don't have Excel. Google Sheets? What happened yeah. to your... You see, you can't use Google Sheet. It's either Excel or Azure or Jira. Yeah, I'm... So I, 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 I was trying to... You're using it to practice. No, actually, my Excel yeah, was saying I should up. pay. So okay, I that's don't know fine. What... Really? Yes. That's weird. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, so what will happen? But do you have access to the board? Basim? Yes, please, I do. Please. I don't want to say Excel next uh, Friday, please. Everybody <laughs> that used Excel, except if you don't have access on the board, then it's fine. Everybody else that have access on the board, because I can see uh, PBIs in, in dev. Like as I said to KG, can they do the, and um, dev done? I mean, can they be moved into in QA? please and they just, they just moved it tonight they just moved it that's tonight. They fine. it's okay so even as them um, who is here sharing the screen can move it for you let them move everything that is there into in qa now and then everyone that owns them should start working on them that's it okay. work work is work i've started once is in dev done it means the dev is done with it so go ahead and because by friday we we start to execute it and then please get the, the, why is some of your, uh, Rexford, have you noticed? Oh, she stopped sharing. It was yeah. showing error. I don't know. What does that mean? And she will share. Amalara? I'm sharing again. Okay. 
Did you see it? We had the three ellipses. Is it the other person that shared? I saw post. I don't understand. What's all that coming up? Error. I can see it. Error. We are we after the A. All bookmark. All bookmark. Trying to look. Oh yes, that has to do with her browser anyway. Oh, click her on, browser. Okay. Click on that. Let me see. Okay, if it's a browser. Okay. Yeah. And that's weird. On the three ellipses, Amalara. Top right yes, corner. Ma. There's no ma here. No, think... where you see a the pink yes. a? a top right corner, top right corner, underneath the, the right browser. Corner. Okay, yes. Arrow, click on the three ellipses. Okay. Okay, I think it's just to do with uh yeah. Yeah, I can try to click on sign in. Oh, yeah, no, you already signed in. It says signed in, yeah. Oh, oh, new extension added. Okay, I think she was, it's just a warning. She was trying to add a new extension. Is it Adobe? Mm, Adobe and there. Uh, okay. Okay, Amalara, thank you. It's fine. It's All nothing right. to do with thank Azure. You. I was thinking it's what to do with the Azure, but okay guys please so oh, let's uh, do as we are told um, then friday we will try and execute and chase up the developers for the url please um uh, kwazim uh, i know kg have left the call that that uh, davis you are in um binary right yes, yes i am i think uh team binary we have given us sharepoint url already now. okay you can start executing. Then on Friday, we'll look at it together. Please, Nathan yeah. and all, Umi, all of you, please. Yeah? A quick one before you go, sorry. I... Yeah, you can stop the recording. That's okay. Uh...